Hi guys, in this video we are going to discuss how to detect an intent using an API, right? So this is the most of the times we face uh, or you know, most of the time we want to integrate with third parties, right? Not using the inbuilt channels, uh, then this API call comes into the picture. For example, let's say I want to integrate with the WhatsApp, right? Uh, my Dialogflow bot, how to do that? So. This is the answer what we are looking for. Uh, I already have done the coding, uh, which I will explain a little bit. Uh, but there are a few steps that you have to perform. Okay, so let's go to over here. So this is my code. Don't worry, this code is already been uh, uploaded in the GitHub, and the link is given in the comment section. Okay, so what I'm doing over here. So as you remember, right, uh, we do require some packages. So this is the package which we required. Okay. And what I'm doing is I'm creating a session client. These are the all uh, garbage stuff that is required. Important thing is the project ID. Now how to get the project ID. Right. So if I go to my the same chatbot, right. If I click over here uh, in the settings, so I will get the project ID. So I will copy this project ID and paste it over here. Uh, the language is based on what language you have done. If your language is only English, right? Default language, give EN or ENUS. So by default, EN is in US in dialog flow. Uh, then it required a knowledge base ID. So how to get this one? So right, I will go to my knowledge and if i click over here right if you see the url right it has changed and it has that id over here i will copy this one and i will paste it over here now what we are doing is this is the syntax to create the session path this is for knowledge base path blah blah, blah. okay uh, but first of all we want to detect an intent right so if i say uh hi right and what it will say oh, we have few so let's delete and keep hi uh, let's mention something hi welcome to read the manual how are you doing okay so let's keep to that one and when i say hi it will detect and if it is high from the knowledge base which we uh, saw how to create in the last video uh, it will pull from there and accordingly it will print the result okay so if i say hi over here what i get is uh, hi blah 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 and if i go over here to my code right node now uh, what is that detect intent.js and I should get the same response as I got in the UI. Uh, somehow there is some delay uh, when I perform this one. Okay, so I got the response, same what we have over there. Okay, so now what I will do is how to set up this one. Okay, so there are a few things that you have to do uh, to make the code working. Okay, so this is a code which is already available in the GitHub. Now what you have to do is perform some uh, authentication parameters, right? So basically what we required is service account JSON file, which uh, is required to give this code necessary permission or authentication, right? Or authorization, authentication to execute and go to the dialog flow, go to the my dialog flow and execute it okay now important thing is that we execute from some g cloud function or commands right now if you don't have g cloud installed okay so go to uh, google and search for install g cloud cli okay since i'm windows i'm explaining about the windows so it will give you the installer just perform the installer and that will uh, automatically do all this thing 
uh when it asks for to set in the path also allow that one okay so once you do that right so what we have to do is first we will do a login okay uh login to where login to our uh what is that gcp account through which uh, we have created this dialog flow okay so this dialog flow use uh, my personal gmail account okay then it will ask me for few permission so i will click allow okay now after this you get this message that you are now authenticated with the gcloud cli if you go back right you will see that you have logged in blah 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 and your project is this one right now if this is not your project when i say project again i'm going back and showing you over here if this and the, this one is does not match use this command gcloud config set project and then your project id okay so that once that is done okay so this two command is done now what we have to do we have to uh, set the environment variable uh, gcloud authentication right so for that what we will do uh, we will paste this one sorry uh, this command so now what it usually do it uh, again ask me to log in okay and basically what it does it downloads uh, uh, your service account and paste it into the app data okay so i will show you where it goes so if i open my pc They have removed the Internet Explorer, but anyway. Um, so I will go to my PC, C drive, uh, users, Rajiv, uh, app data. It might be hidden. Okay. I will go to roaming. If you see, G Cloud is there. Now, if you see, uh, this is updated with the current time timestamp. If you see, uh, and it has the credential. I will not open the file <laughs> because it contains my credential. Okay, so everything is done. You have set the project, you have logged in, and you have also set the uh, environment variable uh, with the default credential. Okay, now what I will do, I will again execute node. Uh, what is the detect integer.js? Uh, and supposedly it should give me the return okay so i got the response now what i will do uh, i will go over here to the uh, script and modify from one of the pdf so what can i do to protect myself right uh, so let's give this one so what we are checking over here does it pull the value from the knowledge base right so let's tweak also how can i protect myself so let's see if dialog flow nlp also works or not uh, we might get uh, no match intent or fallback intent so let's see if it works Okay, so we got the response. We found COVID-19 is maybe blah, blah, blah. It does give me the response, but this is not the question or the response from this one, right? Uh, so I can ask this particular exact phrase. Oops. Sorry. Sorry, uh, accidentally I pressed the wrong command and it went to ask me while login. Make sure if you get that window, you complete the flow. Otherwise, you have to close the uh, this thing, uh, the command window, and then again start from the scratch. Not scratch. Uh, if you have done the login and all this thing, it will stay over there. But it may occur that. Google this G cloud is waiting for the timeout which is around five minutes I think then only you can execute 
so rather than complete the complete the uh, if the windows pop up has occurred okay uh, so we still did not get which answer it is giving so if i search for this one oh this is uh, detecting from the answer is it oh yeah yeah this is detecting from the answer produce an effect okay so it's basically uh, uh not consider this as a question but even inside it feels that there is a question and uh, try to give the answer based on that okay um so yeah the this is how we can use api uh, right now i'm using node.js to connect or to detect the intent and also uh, intent from the knowledge base thank you have a nice day